a little bit on peripheral biology. Um, this is an area that's potentially very, very exciting because of its obvious health implications. And um, there has been controversy about whether psychological well-being is related to physical health. But if you look at large epidemiological studies, particularly, for example, the Whitehall studies from the UK, there is um, uh, very good evidence that individuals who report higher levels of psychological well-being do show certain um, um, positive metrics with respect to uh, uh, health, physical health. Uh, again, the precise mechanisms through which that occurs are not known, uh, but there have been those kinds of associations reported in the past. We got excited about this because our very first randomized controlled trial of mindfulness-based stress reduction, which turned out to be actually the very first randomized controlled trial ever of MBSR, which was published in 2013, it's from, uh, 2003 rather. Remarkable that the first randomized controlled trial of MBSR was published in 2003. Um, and what we did is we, we administered influenza vaccine and looked at antibody titers mounted in response to the vaccine. And we found that the meditator showed higher levels of antibody titers mounted in response to the vaccine compared to uh, age and gender matched. And these were weightless controls. So it's not a great control group that we used back then. Uh, but nevertheless, this was an early finding that suggested that there might be something interesting with respect to peripheral biology. Since then, there have been lots of studies. And we, as well, have pursued this. And um, this is a very recent report um, from our group, Melissa Rosencrantz, who actually has a K award from NCCIH and is a scientist in our group, has been looking at inflammatory mechanisms. Uh, and um, she has developed a procedure using the local administration of capsaicin cream, which produces a inflammatory flare to quantify experimentally uh, inflammation and to look at the impact of um, uh, mindfulness procedures on um, this local inflammation. And so we've done several studies. Uh, and um, from a study published in 2013, you can see uh, uh, the capsation cream. And we also, in that study, uh, used a vacuum procedure to produce these very, very small blisters. Uh, from which we can extract blister fluid to look at pro-inflammatory cytokines uh, in the fluid that were associated with uh, the rate at which the flare resolved. Uh, and we use digital photography to simply quantify the flare size uh, in an automated way. And in this very recent study that was just published, what you can see is that long-term practitioners compared to uh, age and gender match controls uh, are showing uh, this is, we're looking at cortisol here, and this is flare size. Uh, they're showing reduced flare size and also reduced cortisol in response to the Trier social stress task. Um, and it turns out that um, uh, uh, cortisol is also related to perceived stress uh, in the Trier social stress task. That's what TSST stands for here in both the non-meditators and the meditators. Uh, and in very recent work also, we have been specifically interested in whether we can see evidence of rapid changes in gene expression for genes uh, that are extracted, that, that we, we look at in peripheral blood mononuclear cells, genes that are specifically implicated in inflammation. And so um, uh, in a study that we published in 2014, the first author is Perla Coleman from Barcelona. Uh, molecular biologist in Barcelona, we looked at a number of genes implicated in inflammation over the course of a day of intensive meditation practice. This is eight hours of practice. Uh, and we had match controls come in for a day of leisure, uh, where they were, they were sedentary for the day. They ate the same diet. Uh, and we can see some evidence of changes in gene expression uh, in the meditators who are in red here, down regulation of genes involved in inflammation compared to the controls who are not showing any significant change. And these changes in gene expression are related to changes in cortisol over the course of the Trier social stress task. 
that is administered on a separate occasion. 